YouTube. Welcome to this tutorial, and today again, we're going to be creating a sports action scene. Um, sorry about the absence. Um, I've been pretty busy with school, um, which I know is kind of a lame excuse, but um, when you're in high school, obviously, you're going to get pretty overwhelmed with uh, the amount of work. Um, this is a really cool um, image. You're going to be combining uh, two pictures, um, making the text look like it's actually part of the image. So, uh, yeah, this is, this looks, um, like it'll be a really awesome, uh, effect. You can do this if you're making, um, your sports team logo, if you can put their logo right here. Um, you really do this with any sport, but I've been getting into Ultimate Frisbee, and it really looks awesome when it's like this. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's get started. Alright, so you're gonna open up, uh, let me just exit out of this. Sorry, I was studying for Romeo and Juliet. Uh, you're gonna open up your, uh, let me get my, uh, resources. Open up your cliff. Um, actually, do I have, I, I remember, here we go. Alright. Sorry about this. Alright, there we go. I'm just trying to organize my windows. Sorry about this. Alright, so you're going to be greeted with this image. Um, but I uh, removed the person. It's not that hard. You just use the clone stamp tool. This is a pretty advanced tutorial, so I'm going to be going um, at a fairly advanced level. So hopefully you're going to need to know how to do this. Are you gonna know how to do this? And um, I'm pretty sure I've 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 already done this in a couple of other tutorials, so you can just uh, check that out. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up open as layers our um, ultimate frisbee players. So that is good, and I'm going to go render these out. So um, actually, first what I'm gonna do is um, whoop. Scale it down. It's like that. And then move that, and then I'm gonna scale this down a little bit more. Like that looks good. Alright, and now I'm gonna render them out. And I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. Take the pass tool. And, um, I was just thinking, um, uh, at your school, does anybody, um, do you tell people that you use, that you have a GIMP? Um, because I know at my school, um, I don't think, only, like, my closest friends know that, um, I actually do this, and, um, it'd be really cool to find out, like, um, if, like, a lot of people do this at your school, um, or if like your closet GIMP users, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I think it'd be kind of interesting to find out. So if post in the comments below, that'd be kind of cool to find out, you know. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually uh, using Camtasia. Uh, I just got that, so that is hopefully the quality will be better. I really hope. <laughs> All right. Oh. That is good. We're gonna get press enter to convert it into a selection. We're gonna zoom out. And we're gonna click control I and then just hit delete. That looks like a fairly good cut. Um I'm gonna scale down the image a little bit. It's a little bit too big. That looks good. That looks perfect. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and um, fix some of the errors that I have. Um, I need a smaller brush. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, if any of my um, followers actually play frisbee, that's awesome because it's actually a really good sport. And um, I don't really know a lot of people that do, so that'd be interesting to find out at my school actually. I'm just um, brushing up on all the edges here. Um, trying to make this look fairly, fairly good. Um, all right, now I'm gonna. You remember, you gotta remember to cut these parts out, like in the middle where it's it's um. Just delete that. And then like this area where it looks just weird. Delete. Select none. Alright. That is fine. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to play with the uh, colors um, to make them look more into the... make it look like it's actually part of the image. Alright, so we're going to lower the um, brightness and lower the contrast just to make the image look like it's actually... Um, make them look like they're actually part of the image. Um, another thing that we can do, uh, layers, um, we're going to, uh, alpha to selection it, make a new layer below this, fill it in with black, you can select none, we're going to put our move tool and click move the active layer, and then we're just going to move this down like that, and then we're going to put that layer mode on overlay, we're going to Gaussian blur this, by about like six. I think six will be good. And then turn down the opacity like that. And then we're gonna erase um, what uh, isn't really on the cliff. All right, so that's good. And I'm actually gonna blur that again. that looks good. So, um, they actually look like they're, uh, part of the image, sort of. Um, and now what we can do is, uh, add a flare. So we're gonna go file, open as layers, and go to robot 1k GFX pack, um, and go to flares, and we're gonna use comp1. And, uh, move this up, and scale it down, because it is huge. scale that. Move this over here, and we just scale this down again. Like that. Put the layer mode on screen. And we're gonna bring it above like that. Actually, below the Ultimate Frisbee players. Um, maybe a little bit smaller? be like that. I think that looks good. Um, Alright, now we're going to play with the colors again. Um, go to hue and saturation and hone down that saturation on them pretty highly. That looks good. Um, and we're going to open up another um, smoke layer. So go um, file open as layers, smoke. We're going to open up just the smoke one. And we're going to put this layer mode on screen. Um, make this pretty small like that. Looks good. And then go to our eraser tool. Um, make the scale a little bit bigger. And then just um, erase the bottom because it looks like a hard edge and you never want that. That's good. Put it below them. Um, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, layer new from visible and bring that to the top. And we're going to uh, go to our um, gradients. And um, actually before we do that, uh, I'm actually going to delete that. Um, we're going to 
change our gradient to FG to transparent, and we're just gonna um, on the background layer, just from each side, to add some flow to the image. And then just one. Hey guys, sorry about that getting cut off for a little bit. Um, Camtasia decided to crash on me, so I had to reboot my computer world, computer and a bunch of stuff. So, um, sorry about that. Um, if it got cut off a little bit. Alright, um, so basically we're gonna add one stroke right here. Whoop. And you gotta put it on FG to transparent. So you put one stroke like that. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go layer. Uh, new from visible and um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your gradient to deep sea and put colors map gradient map and then put the layer mode on overlay and you can turn down the opacity and that creates a really cool uh, effect um, we're gonna change the location of this I think it's a little bit too Whatever. Alright, it's good right there. Um, can't really change it now that I've made that copy. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add our text. So we're going to open up our text tool. And we're going to use the font, um, Perpetua, I believe. Yes. Perpetua. Um, alright, just going to type in ultimate close that and we're gonna change the uh, dimension in between the text um, and then make the size pretty big and then I'm gonna make it closer together um, and we're gonna change the color to this light uh, purple bluish and the HTML notation is 525DC6 we're gonna click OK and then just um, we're gonna click move the active layer and then just move it like that and um, that looks good we're, now we're gonna add some shadows uh, to it so we're gonna alpha to selection it make a new layer below it fill that in with black select none um, we're gonna flip it vertically drag that down um, and then in the perspective tool we are actually um, we're gonna go layer uh, auto crop layer and then now we can just um, drag it like that like that and then um, we're just gonna erase um, this bit that is over there. Alright, and we're gonna put the layer mode on overlay and then we're gonna go filters, blur, Gaussian blur, you can blur by five, that's fine. And then, um, it's a little bit too strong so I'm just gonna turn down the opacity. And, um, we're actually gonna erase parts of it just to make it look like, um, not as strong. Um, so it's, it's there but it's a little bit faded. Um, and now we're going to do the same thing, so alpha to selection it, make another new layer below that, and fill it in with black. And you can select none, and then um, auto crop that layer. And then go to your perspective tool, and go like that. And then you can do the same thing, so uh, blur, Gaussian blur, same thing. And then put the layer mode on overlay and decrease it. And then go to your eraser tool. And um, that looks pretty good. On your ultimate text layer, you're going to go to your eraser tool and erase parts of it as well. Um, and then uh, go to your, um, uh, you're going to go to robot 1k gfx pack um, go to smoke then we're gonna open up this one we're gonna put the layer mode on screen 
scale is down because it is way too big. Whoop. Check the chain. Scale it down like that. Press scale. And we're going to move it over here and then um, like that, I guess. And um, you guys are done. You have made your ultimate frisbee um, uh, effect um, action scene. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, remember to um, get custom work. Uh, make your uh, you could have your name right here, which you guys can do yourself. But I can um, make more customizing options. But nevertheless, thank you for watching this tutorial. Remember to subscribe if you liked it. Don't if you didn't. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching.